How to get my ex-boyfriend's back when he lost feelings. Hello and welcome to Love Advice TV. My name is Alex Carmont. I'm your relationship expert. And I will help you to get your ex-boyfriend back even if he lost feelings. I know that you're desperate. I know that you think that you cannot get him back because he said, I lost my feelings. I never come back. I never regret any decision. Basically, all of the bullshit. Let me help you. Let me give you some tips. But before to share with you these secrets, I want to make sure that you will smash the like button and subscribe to Love Advice TV. You will receive video directly in your mailbox from Coach Natalie, Coach Abby, Coach Adrian, and myself. We are here for you and we want to provide you results. This is very important for us. So what do you do exactly when your ex-boyfriend told you that he doesn't have any feelings and that he prefers the breakup? Tips number one, don't beg him, don't chase him, don't try to show him that you love him and you want to understand. Because basically, when a man is telling you, I lost my feelings, he is not putting you on a pedestal, which is what we love to do. Basically, men, we love to chase you. We love to be needy. We love to try to attract you. And once you're not a challenge anymore, we will really be scared. Scared to be in a relationship, scared to lose our freedom, all of these problems. So, if a guy is telling you, I am losing my feelings, I lost my feelings for you, I'm sorry, I'm not in love anymore, it's not your fault, it's me, you need to understand that he is not putting you on a pedestal. He's not valuing you. So what we need to do in this situation is very specific. We need to be a little bit distant. So we will take our time before to communicate with him. We will not talk about love. We will not ask questions. But you told me two weeks before that you were loving me, that I was the, man, the woman of your dream. But you told me two weeks but you told me two days ago that you still love me. It's weird. And now you say that you don't love me. If you try to understand, it will not give you the answers. And I'm very sorry for that. But that's the truth. It will not give you the answers. So basically what we need to do is to try to understand, but being distant with him. Okay, what did I do wrong? Did I show that I was too much involved? Did I give him too much attention? Was I too needy? Was I too available for him? Because I have heard this sentence a lot. Alex, I was in this relationship with this guy. He said that he lost his feelings, but he was the one that was calling me, asking me to go out. He cannot spend one second without me. Yes, unfortunately, this is how men will react because they want to make sure that you will fall in love for them. And then, it's not enough challenge, so they lose their feelings. And we need to avoid this situation by being distant. Being distant means we will not do, for, for example, the no contact, but maybe more the radio silence. Radio silence is a tool that helps you to not do the first step. So basically, it will put you on a pedestal and you will become a challenge again. Tips number two, that is very important. When a man is telling you, I lost my feelings, the feelings are still here. They are here. But above the feeling, we will find the emotions. And when a guy is telling you, I'm not, I don't love you anymore, it means I don't feel the butterfly in my stomach anymore. And this is most of the time because you lost your personal life. You're not seeing your friends anymore. You're not going to the gym. You lost your hobbies and passions. And you, you're not dedicating to your professional life like you used to be. This is exactly what we need to change. That's where the man will just value you because you have an amazing life. So when you are distant, I will ask you to just have your calendar with you, your agenda, and making sure that you have everything set up day after day, hours after hours. The more you can implement this, the best your life would be. And this guy will start to feel that the situation is not the same. So instead of being on his emotions, oh, but I'm not too in love. Yeah, I feel that she's too available for me. It will start to feel, oh my God, she's a challenge again. That's how 
we can change and reverse the situation. Now I know exactly what you're telling yourself. Alex, I don't want to play a game. I'm too old to play this game. It's not a game. This is just social and human relationship. It works in every domain of our life. We need to accept that as human, we value what we don't have and we are always looking for new experience. So this guy needs to feel that you are a challenge by having your, the life you want. This is where it will come to you and you will be able to build something. Now, when it comes to how to get this guy back, you can talk to him once a week. Once a week, you can talk to this guy only about the positive actions that you're doing, only about the new actions, because this is where you will get strength and power and control of the situation. Tip number two, never talk about your feelings, never show love. And in order to do that, you need to control your mindset, your unconscious mind. And the best way to do it is a sentence that you need to repeat. Do it after me. I will show to this stupid man what he has lost. I know it sounds crazy, but it's very important. I will show to this stupid man what he has lost. That's where you reverse the situation. Instead of begging and asking for love, you will show him that, no, no, we need to come back to the beginning. What happened in the beginning? This guy chased you. He chased you and he was just after you. So it's very important for you to stay focused on this. Okay? So honestly, I know it's difficult. I know exactly your pain because I've coached so many women in your specific case. When a man is telling you, I lost my feelings. You should not be scared and tell yourself, oh, I know, Alex told me it can happen because he lost his butterflies. Let's do it again. Let's work on this. Let's make sure that your ex will see what he's losing. We will just reverse the situation. So you are always happy. You're changing your profile pictures on social media. You're going out with your friends. You're trying new activities. This, in a couple of weeks, will make this guy coming back and begging for you. I can guarantee you this will happen. So if you need more advice, it's very important for you to click in the description box below. You will watch a long and private videos where we explain to you with the team, how do you get your ex-boyfriend back? What do you need to do right now? This is something very important. If you want to go further, just come on our website withmyexagain.com. You have tons of articles. And you can book a private coaching session with Coach Natalie, Coach Adrian, Coach Abby, or myself. In just one session, we can change your love life forever. You will come back as a challenge. I will see you soon, but remember to smash and destroy the like button. We need you. We need you for the YouTube algorithm and making sure that everyone will watch this video. Every woman needs to watch this video because that's where I can teach you exactly how to get your ex-boyfriend back. And of course, I need you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's grow this amazing community together. I will see you soon. Take care.